Bantamweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Jose Aldo. There's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. To get us started Ladies with the official introduction, as we go inside to the veteran man. voice of the octagon, here's and Bruce Buck. The evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out lee gets caught with that punch he's treading water now gotta find a way to move those feet Relax. how good is that right hand and he landed the right hand there well that left hand has been there at times not on that attempt 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Aldo. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Alden. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So just over 20 total strikes and counting him. Now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alden. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. Try to establish that jab. That strike blocked by Alda. He is all about that left kick to the body. Head kick. 45 seconds to go here in round one. That punch no good. There's no tell on that leg. Hard kick. shots landing on both sides here. Oh, man, head to land. Nice punch there. Round two straight ahead. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landing those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different or this fight is not going to last much longer. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Shows him the left and then follows it up with the right. Nice one-two punch there by Alda. What a punch. It's such a fast leg kick. She lands flush with that right hand. Aldo's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Big head kick lands. Oh, a huge block there. Went for the inside leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want those. <laughs> his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. 
53 total strikes have landed for Jose Aldo. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Jose Aldo. Look at him whip his hip the next game. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice straight punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Aldo's punch to the body, that one is good. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks, just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. With corner, is they will relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Nice move and punch. Whiffs on the right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Aldo's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Unable to land with that punch. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that shit. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that, and I'm gonna tell you one thing, it will not feel good. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this guy. Thunderous leg kick rounds. has been a little bit tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Visibly limping here. Seconds now remain in the round. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, 
if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Now connects with a right. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are laying. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. Hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, he's got to be on top. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Punches block. His leg is hurt here just a little bit. Nice job of hiding that head kick. To the jab now, no good. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Effective punch there by Lee. That's a really strong leg kick there. That is it! Oh! Woo! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight, a seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon!